Alright friends, welcome back to part 6 of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Last we left off, I did not forget about this game by the way, because I do like it, but I just haven't had time to play it. But last we left off, we're looking for the Gimp. We uh, saved old What's-His-Face from the Bandits after many struggles. And the, the sound's not going through my headset, so that's a good start. That's how we like to start these videos, by having to close the game and reopen it. That's my favorite. If you couldn't guess, it's not actually my favorite, but I'm really bad at like keeping up with my audio and what changes and whatnot. So yeah, yeah, blee. Okay, but I did get better at the combat, and uh, my buddy keeps telling me tips on how to play this game. Can't remember his username at the moment, but he always comments. And Adam, Adam, mommy, I don't, I can't remember, but he's the homie. <laughs> he tells me what I'm messing up on. This is why you suck. <laughs> no, I appreciate all the help because I do kind of suck at the game. Yeah, I remember I was 2v1 of those bandits. I had to cheese one. I had to like get him on my horse, run him across the field and kill him and then come back for his buddy. Because it's God that fighting them 1v2 was not working out for your, your boy. Alchemy is a useful skill that transforms herbs. We haven't even got like a profession yet. I'm not that far in the game, but I'm mainly just doing the main quest. Yeah, he got mad at me because I told what's his face, my homie. God be with you. Oh, he told me to train with this guy some more too. Uh, to counter, I think he said he was trying. Can to... you teach me how to defend myself better in combat? Certainly. Hopefully, we don't teleport all the way. Master. I want to achieve mastery. You can't become a master oh. overnight. I oh. have to know almost everything before trying to achieve mastery. Right, fam. Slightly advanced. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. All right, but it'll cost you. It'll cost me. I do have quite the money, but haggle. Isn't that quite a lot? Um. Yeah, let's go here. I, I think I have good negotiation tactics. Satisfied? Don't be mad at me. I'd almost shake on that. Oh. Almost. Ooh, he's gonna drop low, right? Oh no, he's actually extra pissed. He ain't gonna drop anymore. That'll work. Agreed. Now listen up. Alright. Oh, I reached a new level in defense. Oh wait, I didn't actually do anything. He just, oh, you could just get free stats from him. That's interesting. That's um my main level went up. I guess. Maybe not. It's really close to going up. Um, defense. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what these do. It said my defense went up, but I can't get anything new. Didn't go up enough, I guess. Whatever. <clears throat> Let's go back to our mission. We were supposed to do something. Where's Pebbles at? Hey, Pebbles, where you at? I forgot how to call my horse. Hey. Yeah, you better stop and stare when I call Pebbles. Majestic, beautiful horse. Where art thou? Is that you, Pebbles? No, that's a word, though. Pebbles, get over here. Pebbles! Stop fighting the fence post! Pebbles! <laughs> God. <laughs> Lord almighty. Oh, how do I mount him? I said that I keyed him out. Alright, I have a mission. Let me look at the M key to see what my mission is. I failed the Bernard mission because I didn't talk to him. Beehive. Okay, let's just look at the quest log. Ginger is hiding out in the woods. I've already done that. Oozits. We gotta go to Oozits. Yes, we must find Mark Fart, Mark Fart and avenge my parents. We gotta go to Oozits. Yeah, we got stuff to do. What is this? Activities do me a favor and punch me. Oh yeah, I tried to do that one and it gave me an insta fail for some reason. Oh, it seems like it's this way. Yeah. Are we pretty well fed? I think that pig icon means we've ate, probably. Yeah. I would assume. That's cool though, you can get your stats raised up just for paying money, but... I was actually hoping you would teach me how to be better. What weapon do I have equipped right now, by the way? Give me one moment. I know I had, like, I was getting mad loot by killing all these people. 
I got my mercenaries bedfellow. And I got the shield of Townberg still. Ooh wee. Yeah, so I guess this, our main goal is to get to the cripple. Um, get our sword back. I hope we get to keep it, but I feel like that one dude's gonna take it. I don't know if he's a, I still don't know if he's a bad guy or not yet though. I have a feeling, it's really suspicious how he's escaped even though they're talking about a storm. Like, it's kind of suspicious. <laughs> But at the same time, he's been pretty chill with me. I thought he'd be more of a dick to me, but he's been actually, like, super nice to me. Maybe that's some softening me up, so I'm, like, not expecting the heel turn. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. It's a wagon. Yeah. What is that? It's a bunny. I could hunt it, but I'm not really that big. Yeah. Oh, these are the the mining people. This is the right place. Yeah. Oh, come on, Pebbles. We can do it. You just gotta believe. I did get knocked off Pebbles once. If you hit terrain like too hard, you get knocked off Pebbles. It's quite unfortunate, actually. Ooh. Hopefully we're going the right way. I assume. There's a marker up here, so we gotta be going semi the right way. Pebbles is getting tired. Let's rest Pebbles. Oh god, it's a creek. Hi right, Pebbles, yeah. it's up to you. Jump it! Yes! Yes, Pebbles! Yes! Good girl! Is Pebbles a girl? I'm gonna assume Pebbles is a girl. Good girl! <laughs> oh, there's free food down there. That's where- this is the hunting spot that we went to. Ah, oh, the memories! Where people started treating me right, because I'm such a good guy. Who's been out here? Hopefully he's not mad at me. How dare you eat from my pot? Pebbles has great courage. I'm assuming eight's a lot. You're so brave, Pebbles. Yeah. You give me inspiration. Yeah! Oozits. I think Oozits is where I can learn how to read too. That's a good ta that's a good skill to have. Let me see, real quick. Sorry for pausing it so much. Mightier than the sword. Yeah, boy. We're gonna do multiple things. I'm gonna learn to read. I'm gonna beat up the cripple. We're gonna have a great time. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> how dare you be crippled? This must be Oozits. Oozits. What's it? Is this Oozits? Are you reading people here? I don't know if it is. I don't think it is. Jump it, Pebbles! That fence is kicking our ass. Never mind, Pebbles. You're not too good with the fences. Yeah. It's alright. It's understandable. I'm not judging you. <laughs> I remember when I was calling him with the whistle, he was not about that fence life. Interesting sight. This is probably for fishing. I thought I saw something jump. Yeah. Was that like a Omega fish or something? I, I saw something splash out of the water. I know no dang bounty hunter better attack me. I'll beat him up. Oh my god. Oh, beat him like I did that one dude that had the big scythe thing. Yes, we're in Uzits. Find out where the limping bandit lives. Well, we gotta get our reading skill up first, I believe. That's what I want to do first. I want to learn how to read. It's important to be edumacated. We're gonna get us a right proper edumacation, my dudes. Let's get off the horse. All right, Pebbles, you be safe. You be safe, Pebbles. I'll be back. Don't do nothing that I wouldn't do. God, Uzis is pretty big. I probably should have stayed on Pebbles. Mistake. I'm tuckered. I do need to work on my sprinting, though. Because I feel like that's a or agility or whatever this works out when I'm running around. Because that habit stamina is the most important thing when you're fighting, I think. Because if you ain't got stamina, you're about to get the ass whooped up on. Who are y'all? Oh, crap. I didn't mean to go... Oh, I found him already. What are these people doing? Are you the lamp? 
He just walked through the floor. Is he dead? Move along, citizens. Move along. There's nothing to see here. If that's what you call nothing to see, I'd like to know what something to see looks like. Let me turn up the volume on the game. By the keys of St. Peter, this is all I need. We'll have to send word to Sir Hanush. That might not be necessary. I work for Sir Hanush. I'm Henry of Scalitz, in the service of Hanush's Captain Bernard. I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof, and I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. Auschwitz? I say, we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. Hmm. We have no bandits or murderers around here. False. Really? They say he had a limp? Uh-oh. They know him. Well, allow me to introduce you to Limpy Lubosch. Or all that's left of him. Ah, oh, someone got to Limpy Boy before I could get to Limpy Boy. Damn, son! Ooh, that's nasty! Oh, you hate to see that happen. Sakra. <sighs> Nothing's ever easy. Ugh. Oh. I'll have to take a look around and ask a few more questions. That's not PG. Right you. you can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. But look and ask all you like. All right, I'm gonna turn up the volume. Once they stop talking to me. Give me one second. There we go. Who was Limpy? Who was Limpy Lubosch? A poor crofter and a scoundrel. Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. He kept company with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what have you. Why did he limp? How come he limped? He got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. Has he been up to anything suspicious lately? Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. He was hmm. home the whole time. But he always kept everyone in the village at arm's length. Strange. Did he have any kith or kin in the village? Hmm, none. A loner he was. I don't know the last time I saw him with anyone. Someone's lying to me. Do you happen to know where he was on the night of the Neuhof raid? I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk. So you never knew if he was away or holed up at home. How do you tell me he was at home and then you tell me he's not at home? If you knew he was at home or not. Hmm. When did you find the body? And did anyone see anything? Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. I don't know how they could gut him like that without someone hearing him scream. That's pretty crazy. Another thing about Lubos. Yeah, I asked everything already. Alright. You're a pretty useless bailiff. Thanks. Thanks! Give me a second, I need to... What's up, girl? I'm gonna go talk to the reading person before I interrogate more people. Hopefully I don't fail my quest for leaving or something. God, he is so far up here. I'm assuming that's the right quest. Yeah. Is that the reading dude? Reading rainbow? Reading rainbow. Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Take a look. It's in a book. The reading rainbow. I can do any. I got that damn song stuck in my head. Oh, <laughs> I still know all the words. It's crazy. Why is this locked? This is where the scribe is, I believe. Yo, scribe, you open up or I'm breaking in. Big facts. Where's he over here? Teach me. Are you a scribe? Are you scribing? Who's brave enough to buy horseradish? Who's brave enough to buy horseradish? Not I, said the fly. Teach me. Oh, look at him. He's got a feather in his cap. That means he's fancy. 
Good health to you. I'd like to learn to read. I'd like to learn to read. You? Hmm. You don't look like the makings of a priest or clerk. But why not? I've taught all sorts. Bear in mind, it won't be all that easy. You'll need plenty of time and a few groschen for my trouble. Alright. Teach me. Alright. I don't want to waste time. We can get started. The sooner I master it, the better. Very well. I will require some groschen from you, though. And set aside at least a couple of days so I can put you through your paces. If indeed time is of the essence. Here are your groschen. Then we may as well start. Hopefully I don't fail my quest. No, he did. But better than to dishonor it here. May he follow his heart. Keep whispering shit in my ears. Wake up, lad. It's time we were getting on. <sighs> what time so, is it? Let's see you read a bit. Read the There's book. There's on the table. Try to read it. Will I manage? You ought to be able to. It's a simple thing. Come back once you've worked your way through it. One Addy, a country, one day, a countryman going to the nest of his goose found there an egg, all yellow and glittering. When he took it up, it was as heavy as lead, and he was going to throw it away because he thought a trick had been played upon him. But he took it home on second thoughts and soon found out to his delight that it was an egg of pure gold. Every morning the same thing occurred, and he soon became rich by selling his eggs. As he grew rich, he grew greedy, and thinking to get at what to get at once all the gold the goose could give, he uh, well, killed it and opened it up to find only to find nothing. I read it. I did it. I'm a genius. I've read the book. I've read the book. Wonderful. So tell me, what have you learned? Being greedy does not pay. That being greedy doesn't pay. Excellent. You're one of my most talented pupils. You've uncovered the meaning hidden in the letters. That's an like old I told you, child books story. Are valuable. And the words that you place in them ought to be no less so. Does that mean that I can read them? Yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. To fully learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Now we'll move on to the second lesson. Oh, God, Latin. Which will be much harder. Oh, Many good. books are written in Latin, the language of erudite and religious men. If you really want to be able to read, there's no getting away from Latin. Ugh. There's a book on the table with some text. Read it and then come back. You need not understand it, but you should master the letters. Oh, I only just no. managed the fable about the goose. Now you're asking me to tackle Latin. <laughs> you're a clever lad. You'll manage. False. Is that the Latin book? Or is this the goose book? That's the goose book still. Where's the Latin book? That's the Latin book? It's got like a fancy place. Ah. Uh, Solon S. Libre Tom Malsu Ut Non. Uh, uh, God. I can't read that. Jesus. <laughs> I read the page. So tell me, Distrupule. What's written there? Oh, hail. This looks like actual Latin. This does not. This does not either, so. Uh, nullus est liber tam malus. Uh, ut non uh, liquor parte prosit. Good heavens! Don't tell me you haven't had lessons before. It just looks like and I don't know if it, well, uh, there's nothing more I can teach you. Congratulations. You can go and be ordained right away. Thank you, Domine. I'm feeling a lot uh, wiser. 
cool. We learned how to read. I don't know what that does for me, but it seems important. I'm a, I'm a noble, kind of. Yeah? Pretty much a noble. I feel kind of noble right now, learning how to read. Info. All books are cheaper than the shop. When reading, you will get tired and hungry twice as slowly as normal. The first time you look at a fresco, cross, or shrine, your charisma will increase temporarily by two. Uh, I don't think I really need any of these, but if we see a book, we'll probably buy it. Yeah, why not? Mightier than the sword. Okay, now we gotta find out about the limpy gimpy dude. Hey, I got a question, limpy. I feel like I just learned a useless skill that I'll probably never use. I've come in the name of Sahanish of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Of course. Ask away. That man Lubos who was murdered, what was he like? He was a drunk who was always looking for a fight. Nobody liked him much, but I wouldn't wish an end like that on any man. Oh, me neither, bro. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Well, now I think of it, I hadn't seen him around for a while. No idea where he was skulking. In this house? Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? Not a clue. All right. Do you know anyone Lubosch used to spend time with? Relatives or friends? No. Nope. He was a loner. He didn't even have any mates in the tavern. That's all. Thank you. Do you have any books I can buy? Farewell. Hmm. What's the point of buying them? Let's buy one just to read it. I don't know. Let's see what happens. What? You're supposed to haggle me. Where are you going, fam? Why are you running from me? I'd like to discuss. I was about to say, you run away again. I might stab hmm. you in the back, homie. All right, so. What about this? Let's get a discount with my perk. All right, fam. Aye. For that amount, I can be persuaded. Alright, let me read this book. I just want to read one to see what it's like. Tournaments or tourneys are a favorite entertainment of the court and sometimes are an amusement for the common people far and wide who come to watch lords of most noble birth joust as if in the world itself such combat was rare. However, in the tourney, unlike in true battle, causing injury is forbidden. Thus, weapons are blunted and armors and rams modified Mo you know, armors modified as needed but sometimes unfortunate deaths do transpire mountain knights armed with lances may be with vie with one another in attempts to dismount their opponent or knights of on foot armed in diverse manner may tear try to throw their opponent to the ground and the Defeated must surrender his weapon and can buy it back only in gold. The melee is a special type of. Uh, the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't know what that. In which great teams of knights <laughs> hash delude. I don't know what that could be. Hmm. I don't know. Knights engage in combat that seem to resemble true battle, but the the hmm, I don't know what this is either. A line of fatal blows is forbidden, and dealing fatal blows is forbidden. God, some of these are throwing me up. In the kingdom of Bohemia, the tournament was widespread during the reign of King Wenceslas, when the hero ogre from the 
the German lads, Lands did come to his court and bring with him the most curious amusement, and alongside it, po great poverty to the whole land. For henceforth, the lords travel in great numbers to compete in tournaments and sent, spent great fortunes upon them, and no money remained for other purposes. They took to adorning themselves and their steeds with colored cloth to. I don't know. That's. Uh, I don't know. Before their opponents. Pose before their opponents. And they did cross arms more in tournaments than in real combat. Today, elder men of noble birth do recall how the Czechs were once the greatest fighters in the, all of the Ro Holy Roman Empire. But when the tournaments arrived in the, their abilities, they did squander. And today, their displays on true battlefield are of no merit. Forsooth, some fighters of particularly great renown are incapable of dealing a proper blow in real combat, so low have the combat skills sunk. Perhaps one day, knights will become true men again and turn away from call of fraternities and head for the battlefield, for the merriment of the tournament is certainly even a front to God himself. Well, that was a turn. Well, we read it. That was interesting, I guess. Maybe I could sell it to somebody at some point. Alright, let's look at our quest log so we can figure out what we're supposed to do now that the cripple died. I know I have to question people, but... Uh, find out more that does not tell me anything. Hmm. You know about Limpy? You know about Limpy? Good health to you. I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know nothing about it, but to ask all you want. That man Lubosch who was murdered, what was he like? I didn't really know him. He kept to himself, even in the tavern. Yeah, if you were in the tavern, apparently, nobody knows you, bro. Have you <laughs> noticed anything suspicious recently? Can Tavern's the place to be. He was in church yesterday. Oh, good. He was even talking Job. to the priest and went to confession. I was wondering what he was up to, to take to the faith all of a sudden. But I suppose no sins too dark for God's mercy. Yeah, thank you. Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? Nope. I was coming from the tavern very late that night, and I caught a glimpse of someone entering the village. I'm like... He looked like he was in a hurry. It was only a shadow against the sky, but after what happened, I wouldn't wonder. I like that he's like, I don't know anything, you know, and then he gives me all the useful hands. Time with That's relatives funny. Or friends. <laughs> Not with anyone from the village. He used to sit in the tavern next to us sometimes, but he never said much. Poor guy. That's all. Thank you. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe he was a bad person. Farewell. Quest started. Rate tournament. Oh, is there a tournament soon? There will be a tournament in Rate. You can enroll by early morning. Hopefully I can complete this quest by then. I would like to do a tournament again. I think I might have a chance. Why is there a... Well, wait a second. Is the tournament here? What is this? Talk to the priest. That's what we're trying to do. Talk to the priest. I was like, damn, why is there an A key here now? Is there... <laughs> somebody trying to do battle? Trying to catch these hands? I know I got my butt kicked at the last tournament, but this one I might have a chance. You never know. I think I've gotten stronger. Muy fuerte. That kind of looks like a church, don't it? What's up, fam? Are you a priest? Drop your sword. I have a question. You know how to wield a sword. you know how to wield a sword, father. I wouldn't have expected that from a man of the cloth. With a stick. I practiced with a stick. Stick. A reminder of my youth and days gone by, and it helps keep me in good form. I like stick. <laughs> with the stick. <laughs> the blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. I'm here in the name of Sahanish of Lyper, investigating the massacre <laughs> at Neuhof, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanush is employing children as investigators. But ask as you wish, boy. I hope this nasty business will be cleared up quickly. Did you know Lubosch? What was he like? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. 
Did you notice anything suspicious recently? My child, all sorts of suspicious things have been going on recently. People like Lubos don't know what to do about it, and sometimes they do stupid things. That's really not a lot of help to me, Father. I'm sorry to hear that. Damn, son. Freaking, we need to get him some alcohol so he's a little bit more loose-tongued. Do you know what Lubos was doing on the day Neuhoff was raided? Unfortunately, I do know. And I'd like to help you with your investigation, but I can't. People what? will die. I'm bound by certain vows that forbid me to tell you. Come on, man. more important than catching dangerous murderers? There are laws of God above the laws of man, son. And one of those is the sanctity of the confessional. Uh, what about a sanctity of an ass whooping? Father, surely you can't be serious. There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances. And this is one of them. Take out your stick. I got a plus three on something. But Lubosh is dead. You can't hurt him. But if you don't tell me, more innocent people may die. If I told you Son I would of a be bitch. betraying a vow that's a cornerstone of the Holy Church. If people believe the sanctity of the confessional couldn't be trusted, I beat his the ass. consequences would be even worse than that. Worse than the death of innocent Christians? Worse than the murderer escaping punishment? No one escapes punishment. Father, Lubosch was my only lead to the Neuhoff Raiders. Only he could tell me who was responsible for that massacre. If I don't find out who it was, it will probably happen again. Surely you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity of the confessional. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll try to think up some way of helping you. Suppose we talk Jesus. it over in the evening. In the tavern. Over a cup of good wine. Maybe we'll come up with something. I think right. wine would help. Thank you, Father. Take care now. You got any work for me while I'm waiting for the evening? Do you have any work that needs doing? My dear lad, I have more worries than I can bear. Another pair of shoulders would ease my burden. I have no. to deal with a local witch. Oh, God. A witch? The herb woman, old Gertrude. That devious hag oh, who stoop to anything. Like all herbalists, for that matter. Oh, don't tell me. The cows are giving blood instead of milk, and babies are being born with two heads and a tail. This is no laughing matter. Gertrude isn't evil. She just has peculiar ideas about what's good for people. She's not a witch. A little bird told me she incited some Ujets women to witchery. I'm not I'm not condemning an innocent woman. You know how good people are at seeing the splinter in another's eye and not the beam in their own. In other words, someone's been gossiping. Uh, I'm not doing it. This isn't my kind of work. Not my kind of work. Good luck to you. Yeah, I'm not messing with. I learned folk songs. Yeah, I'm not going <laughs> witch hunt an innocent woman. No, thank you. It's not my kind of thing. Not digging up graves. I'm not witch hunting somebody that's innocent. Not doing it. That's a big no. When time is he gonna be here? Guess I could go to sleep in here again, make her mad. What's she gonna do about it? Nothing. Okay, she woke me up early. Right now. One Shut hour. Out. So, and you're supposed to sleep here, I think. I right, innkeeper, where can I sleep at? I'm getting tired of that lady yelling at me. Have you got a bed for the night? All right. For how long? Like an hour, dude. I don't want to pay him anything. Just the one night. Sure. But let's see your coin first. These are harsh times. How much does he want? Oh, two? Oh, okay. Here you go. You all like it here. Like sleeping on a cloud, it is. I have more tag on you. 
please. Where do I go to sleep? You'll have no trouble finding it. Right inside the door to the building, there's a ladder up to the loft. Your bed's ready there, and a trunk for your belongings. Can't believe I forgot how to do the time Lord, skip thing. Lockpick this. I actually probably don't have any life picking tools. Oh, I do, I guess. I don't remember how to do it. Yeah, I suck. Ah, whatever. You gotta like turn it in time with the lock, but I'm not good. No good. Oh, this bed looks like it sucks. Alright, hopefully the preacher's here now, because I'm tired of that woman waking me up. <laughs> uh, there's probably another way to find out about him, but this seems like the best way. Use the ladder. Alright, where you at, preacher? He did say after sundown, right? Is it too dark now? Where did he go? He better be over here somewhere. Is he inside the tavern? Alright, Mr. Priest. You better not be playing no games with me. Satisfied. The blessings of our Lord be And with you, lad. Take a seat. Here. Hmm. Think he got a woman too? I don't Hello, think that's women. part of it. Go got I'm sorry I can't tell you everything. But maybe we can work something out. But first I'd like to hear something about you, my son. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Scalitz. Oh. I'm sorry. What about your kin? They're dead. They're dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, we'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. Oh, yeah. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. We had no warning. They just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. They killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. My parents, my girl. Even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. Hmm. Then I fled to Townberg with the Cumans on my heels. They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of a church in Rovna. Folk who tried to take refuge there, but they... they... My poor child. May God grant them I eternal rest. And how did you come to get this assignment? I'd have expected Sir Hanish to send that old grouch Bernard. Hmm. He did, but I found a witness and the trail led here to Ujit, so he sent me here to follow it up. Ah, well congratulations. Hey. Nice to see someone using their head to find things out instead of torture. We'll have to drink to that. Now the most Should important thing. you up the first time. What actually happened at Noyo? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things, but I take most of it with a pinch of salt. The rumors aren't exaggerated this time. I guess we're just telling the truth. Neuhoff stud farm was raided I by guess. bandits, but they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarreled among themselves and broke off the attack. And judging by what's left of our Lubosch, they're still settling accounts. I see it's every bit as bad as people claimed. Dreadful. Well then. Here's to those poor souls who had to die so Dang, pointlessly you just keep drinking, so homie. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. I noticed you're pretty handy with a sword. I wouldn't expect that of a man of the cloth. You know what they say. 
The Lord moves in mysterious ways. <laughs> but this is a bit more mysterious than others. Let's just say I haven't always been a priest. Fate led me to places where affairs were settled by force. Hmm. These days, of course, it's just a bit of exercise to keep me in shape. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional seal. Do you really want more innocent people to die? Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't you make exceptions old fool. because if you do it once, you'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crime. Are you just making excuses? The people who say the church ah, is corrupt are right. I picked the wrong you don't answer. care about anyone, only your own comfort. I'm sorry you see it that way. Really sorry. You've no idea how wrong you are. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Where is do you get the idea? Well, I don't know why I thought that was the right answer. Well, I just don't want to give up. In Prague. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained too. If I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. Uh. Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? It has to be something topical. Condemning vices. And of course, describing them in detail. A tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days. <laughs> and stories from real life, with a nice moral to them, are popular as well. Especially if they're about fornication and similar scandalous vices. Hmm. Can you give me an example? Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus he started talk preaching in Prague for not in the Czech anything. language, and the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hus is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hus about Mother Church, the lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison. And nearly the whole of Christendom hmm. is contaminated. Just like a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. They don't know mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth. And they shamelessly profit from everything. Hmm. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? I was such me, money homie. gained from the poor they <laughs> buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. Elf, they gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive fur. While Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Amen. Huh. <laughs> This Jan Hu's character is quite a rebel. Oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. Funny. That, is where you that last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation's completely different. Who preaches against the prelates and the How clerics who are robbing the poor? Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I'm no better off than the folk I preach to. I'm <laughs> one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits in Sasal Monastery. Hmm. What do you think of this Jan Hus? He's certainly a wise man. A little overzealous for my taste. If he got out of so prog and came here for a, me look, for a bit. I'm sure he'd stop <laughs> oh, condemning dang. drinking and lying with women. Where can I find out more about his teachings? Do you like it? I copied down some of his sermons. If you're interested, you can read them at my presbytery. What do the common folk think of it? They like it. They're happy to hear someone say what they think themselves, but are afraid to say aloud. Things that make them angry. And they're calling for change. In a few years, it'll have grown beyond control. You mark my words, the people hmm. will rise up and the church will be shaken to its very foundations. Yeah, unless they burn him at the stake first. <laughs> Nonsense. They can't burn a master of the most respected university in Europe. False. 
Don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and lives in sin with a woman and then criticises the Pope for, be- for debauchery? No, I don't. <laughs> One beer. No, I don't. Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? What do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. Ah, that sounds like a good plan. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Drink his tongue loose. This is a skill. I'm not getting any answers. Oh, crap. Unless he's going to tell me why he's drunk. This priest is quite scandalous. But he won't tell me what I need to know. My drinking level went up, though. That's good. That's a useful skill. That's probably more useful than reading, to be honest. Hey. Jesus, party time. Enough of this. What? Bailiff, come on over here. Sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, Father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? So, I'll have you all whipped and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can ride is me. <laughs> Enough! And me! Men! Throw them out. Oh. Oh. Well, this backfired. Maybe I'll walk out. You looking for a fight? Henry, back me up! Alright. You taught me into it. This is where I rock and roll, baby. Let's go. I don't remember how to play, but... How do I block? I don't remember how to block. I think it's Q. How do I block? Hmm. Did we win? What? The world just happened. Do we win? Henry too, I'm sure. What right, just Henry. happened? Oh, we won, I guess. They can say what they like. What do I care? What do they do to me? I don't know what happened there. I guess we missed the tournament, but... Here we are. Look at this beauty. <laughs> I forgot how to block, though. We can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> this is wonderful. Jesus. <laughs> God. Ah, oh, bloody oaf. <sighs> I'm sure my name will get out there now, party with the priest. Ears. Comes the climax of the evening. <laughs> God, my you old goat. Come oh, God, in. Brazzers. All right. Oh, well, we wake up in the field. We've had sex. We're with the sheep. Damn, I'm drunk, apparently. We are in the priest trust, and then we... What is going on here? This game keeps well, jumping around. I have to say, that was a fine evening. <laughs> Alright. I'll remember how to block. Which is a problem. 
I thought it was is it the Q key? Godwin, you beast! Get up! Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards! Oh fuck it out! Oh, oh where the Oh what the Oh who the hell are you? Oh Henry My great friend Henry Didn't we have a wonderful time? Well you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, Christopher in my head. <laughs> oh my god. My poor suffering stomach. Sunday. What's going on about? Wait, before my flock eats me alive. I've forgotten something. Sunday. What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? What the fuck was it? Oh. Mass. Oh shit! I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. Oh yeah. Oh, you're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I'm gonna have to read. As well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for me. All right. What? So, first, I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. <laughs> then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Henry, look, from what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishops can have my guts for garters. <laughs> so I'd appreciate it. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. Uh, I'm mad. Right. You're start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <clears throat> oh. How about this? If you help me with this, I'll tell you who Lubosha's cronies are. Okay, too easy. That's all it needed. That's all it takes. <laughs> well, all right. I can't make any promises about what... That was a wild ride, no, though. Neither can Jesus. I. What do you want me to do, exactly? I can read. I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern, and that's that. No need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubos. Christ no. almighty. Fine, then. We have a deal. Wonderful. Let's get to it, then. All right. Am I dressed? Come on, go, woman. <laughs> Put our clothes back on. That'd probably be a good idea. Just in case I have to fight somebody again. You never know. Anything else that I'm not wearing? My shield? My shoes? Where are my shoes at? Someone steal my shoes? I was drunk last night? No. I guess that's what I, I can't tell what I was wearing. I need to get my gear fixed for real though. Uh, that's close enough. Well, what about the pants? I think the pants might be wrong. Nah, those ain't the right pants. 
Mm, there we go. I guess that's right. <clears throat> Whatever. Where are we going, dude? Oh yeah, we got churches over here. Ooh, hungover. What's up, my people? Why did my reputation go down? Whatever. That's me. I thought he'd never show up. The swill pup. Look at him. He can hardly walk after his capers last night. You were with him, you beast. Just you. Look at him. Mother of God. Any minute now, he'd throw up. I couldn't sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. <laughs> In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Uh, is it my time to give my church? Panem. In Sanctas at Venerabiles Amanus Suas. <clears throat> oh, God. He's going to open that cup. Hoc facite in meam commemorationem. Hey. Brothers and sisters, you may have had the honor of meeting Henry from Scalitz, who is here at the behest of Sir Hanush. <laughs> to investigate that heinous crime at Neuhof. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague, where, by the grace of God, was able to hear Master Jan Hus from the esteemed Charles University Jesus. preaching. <laughs> I've managed to persuade Henry to stand here today in my stead and tell us what he heard. Because, as you all probably know, Jan Hus is a very popular preacher in Prague. So, Henry, you may begin. That's my time, boy. Now I'm curious. Curious which one of them will puke first. I'm going to puke on all of you. That's why I'm up here, homie. Hmm. Which one should I do? <clears throat> uh, greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am here to tell you about Mother Church and to show you through my, my eyes best how out. she is falling into decay and abandon. How the once great mother of all Christians is losing her dignity and trading in souls like the merchants in the temple. Uh, but I am digressing. That well wants to preach about the church. Shit. Creation has given to every man the power by which he might rule the whole world. But... That power does not give him the right to rule. That right belongs to God. No, I think I just did something treasonous. It is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Plague, cumans, hunger, Fear and chaos. The accursed wealth yes. that the church is drowning in yes. is poisoning Fear almost the whole of Christendom. When dogs are fighting over a bone, take the bone and they will stop. Just like the flock of ravens that has descended on this land to peck up every speck of gold and silver. <laughs> they show no mercy. Their hearts are poisoned by covetousness. They trade everything. Everything is for sale. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. And the prelates sin and give themselves absolution. For shame. Shame upon them! And what sins? 
They live with harlots and keep concubines, even though only marital intercourse for the purpose of procreation is pure. If someone takes a woman or man only to satisfy their own lust, who seduces them to do so but Satan? Satan! <laughs> and how much darker the sin if that man is a servant of the church? I'm who kicking this shit's ass. To God, who fornicates and then puts on priestly robes? Nothing we don't know about already. Hey, don't you turn on me. Enough about sin, which the prelates are so fond of preaching about, and whose absolution they promise if you only pay enough coin to Mother Church. What if the devil himself were to pay? Will the bishops tell us he too would ascend to heaven? And what about those bishops? They sin without remorse, and with the money grasped from the poor for indulgences, they keep fine horses and hordes of servants to pamper them. They play dice and garb their mistresses in expensive furs, <laughs> while Christ, the Lamb of God, walked barefoot and had nowhere to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, <laughs> for you are seen by God and his people too. Down with the prelates! Away with them! We're fortunate to have our good father Godwin. At least he's a fair and simple man. God sees what is happening on earth, and he is filled with righteous wrath that those who should seek the salvation of souls instead seek mammon and the idle comfort of lucrative posts. Blessed are the shepherds who share the poverty of their flock, who are as one with you and bear with you the burden of this earthly pilgrimage, who do not condemn your venial sins. Aye, all honour to Godwin. Let him drink hey, hey. one of us. We that did is it. all I heard in Prague. Amen. We kicked it. We killed it, boys. That was awesome. They loved me. Woo! Applause. Have you no shame, you pair of buffoons? What? I'll be writing to the bishop of this. What? For shame. We kicked Utterly ass. Blasphemous. Can what? You believe such behavior for men of the cloth to get drunk in the church. What? What? What happened? This is utter bullshit. So, is our deal still on? Are you pulling my fucking pizzle? I couldn't have done worse myself if I'd puked on the alt. Well, I'm what no are you preacher. talking about? Yeah, I noticed. And I wasn't the only one. I kicked ass. You can't be serious. After all that. All what? All you making a complete hash of my sermon? You were supposed to help, not get me into even more trouble. Now I'll have the bishop on my back and all the villagers. Just leave. I need to pull myself together. Bro, you about to catch what am I my supposed hands? to do? Find someone else to help you. Bro, you can't tell me, or I'm gonna beat your ass. That's so stupid. I, they were loving it. Oh, bullshit. You fucking tell me, bitch. No, I didn't know she did that. It was she only started not long God ago. Man. Always in the evening. You're gonna tell me. Oh, I'm pissed. Actually pissed. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. You've changed my mind about that work. What was it you needed? I have to deal with a local witch. A witch? The herb woman, old Gertrude. That devious hag who will stoop to anything. Like all herbalists, for that matter. Oh, don't tell me. This is no laughing... What do you want me to do? I want you to go and see her and find out what she's been up to. I know she lives in fear of the Holy Church, so tell her I sent you. That will make her talk and think twice about encouraging witchcraft. If you learn that she truly did involve folk in some foolishness, find out all you can and deal with it. Consider it done. Good. And never fear. I'm a man who always pays his debts. You'll find Gertrude, the old herb woman in the woods. God be with you. Yeah, a different quest. We have accomplished almost nothing this part. Oh, man. Where's this mission at? Where's she at? Maybe I gotta look at my quest log thing.
God, she is forever far away. Lord almighty. That's why I couldn't find her. Jesus. Hmm. I want to hit him with my horse. I didn't even do anything. Q is the block skill, by the way. I remembered it while I was trying to stab the priest. Yeah, I don't know how much more we'll do in this part. We might talk to her a little bit, see what's going on, but I don't think we'll get much more past that. It sucks that we didn't get much done, but you can't do much about it. Who are you? Wayfarer. Yeah. Get a fighting scene like we had a drunken brawl or something, but it ended like instantly. Like the drunk scenes just like jump from one scene to another. God, this does look like some place a witch would be hiding out in the woods. Oh my gosh, are you a wayfarer too? Yeah. 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 This should be about where she's at. All right, lady, I'm here to talk to you about Satan. Good afternoon. I've come from the priest. They're saying you incited some women to witchcraft. Me? Witchcraft? That's nothing but idle chatter. You'd be wise to give me a straight answer. I mean you no harm. As long as it's the truth you speak. Very well. I'll tell you everything. I've done a very foolish thing. It's preying on my mind so much I can't sleep a wink. But I'm supposed to believe an old witch has pangs of conscience. Laugh if you like, but it's not a word of a lie. You probably know I sell various magic lotions and potions alongside my herbs. Well... There's one I wish I hadn't sold. You see, Vera, Zlata, and Kuta from Uzhets wanted a magic I'll ointment from me. I kept refusing them, but in the end, I let them talk me into it. Huh. What kind of ointment was it? One that will show you a world no one else can see. A place of wonder and terror. The flowers might start acid. To she you. sold them acid. The earth could swallow you up. <laughs> I don't know if it's the work of the devil or of God himself, but the ointment has that power. But it could poison any person who doesn't know how to use it right. So all this talk of witches anointing themselves and then flying to their sabbaths on broomsticks. The ointment could make a person see such things. But it was stupid of me letting those foolish women get their hands on it. They could poison themselves or fall off a cliff while they're lost in a dream. Hmm. Will you give me the ointment recipe? It contains belladonna and the herb Paris, both quite poisonous plants. That ought to make you think twice about dabbling with it. So why did you give them the ointment at all? Because I'm soft-hearted. You see, one of those women, Vera, lost her whole family in Skalitz. And Zlata's husband was killed. And the youngest of them, Kuta, miscarried with the horror of it all. They said they wanted to use the ointment to speak with the dead and ask them to put a word in with the Lord. Yeah. Hmm. I understand how they feel. But I reckon it'll get them nowhere but the ducking stool and the stake. Judge not, lest ye be judged. I didn't want to give them the ointment, but they offered me a pile of groschen. So I thought how desperate they must be, and I heard their plea. Their plea, or the clink of their coin? Both.
And why are you so worried about them all of a sudden? What changed your mind? I'm losing sleep over it. Firstly, those women don't know what they're doing. And secondly, folk might see it as witchcraft. And do you know what they do to witches? They burn them alive. And worse. That they do. So don't be surprised I'm worried. It didn't bother you before, though. What did they want the ointment for? Each one of them the lost a loved thing. one recently, and it's grieving them. They wanted to talk with the dead. What kind of ointment was it? One that will show you a... I don't... So all this... T the ointment could... I want to know something else. Ah. I've heard enough. If you've heard enough, you must understand why I need your help. Find out from those women what they intend, and watch over them to keep them safe. Okay. Very well. Very well. But only because the priest himself asked me to. Thank you a thousandfold. I'll go to the reverend myself and explain. You take care of those women. May the Lord watch over you. Uh, I've seen them before, so now I gotta go see that. Alright, guys. Yeah, I wish we could have gotten more done this part, but that damn priest fucked us over. But yeah, if you like videos like these, please like and subscribe. And I'll try to come out with parts a little bit more regularly. I've just been, like, super busy at the moment. But yeah, bye!